Front page of the BBC News this morning, Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister of England, is a lying, cheating, corrupt, Tory Prime Minister. What, another one? He don't know what he's doing. Look at it. Front page of the Guardian this morning. Sunak, he's asleep at the wheel as the nation is under floods. Just like Boris Bozo the Clown, Boris Johnson. Look at that there, that whole Rishi Sunak, what's he up to? It says here, Rishi Sunak claims, oh, he's restored honesty to Downing Street. But just one, one percent, only one percent describe this government as very honest. 50% describe him as corrupt. 77% believe that he lied over his WhatsApp messages. He's a liar. And look, there's the latest poll. And Labour is steaming ahead. <laughs> it's 2024. There's going to be an election. Look, there's the floods. There's, is that Cameron on a ski? <laughs> on a water ski. Look, there's trees of coffee with the raw Tory sewage. And then that's all sewage. What's this here? Chris Skidmore, he's quit to leave another Tory by election. I think we've got one coming up with Peter Bone. Rishi Sunak forced Boris Johnson to water down the Rwanda. He's, they're just, it's like, it's a tool for power. It is to attack most marginalised, the most people suffering the most. Labour, look, Labour's, that's their first attack ads of the year. Got with one of those vans that's got, I don't know, Rishi Sunak. Yeah, taxes are going to be higher. Tax cuts won't ease the burden. There it is. Here's Rachel Reeves. Rishi Sunak seeks to harvest political advantage because he's going for the election on the 2020, in the autumn 2024. And there's Luke Humphreys, a dark flat. Backlash. <laughs> I'm discussing Rishi message. 